Well, guys, a Christian charity has removed Bible verses, Bible references, from a nativity story. I mean, when is this going to end? I mean, all this about not wanting the Bible to be offensive towards people, especially now they want to keep it away from kids, take the scriptures out, let's rework the nativity story, okay? Let's make it fun for everybody. Let's make it non-offensive towards those that are, you know, don't believe in Christmas or share our values with our Judeo-Christian principles, so on and so forth. All right, guys, it's really starting to get bad. Now, a Christian charity in the UK has responded to the media reports that it decided to remove Bible references from its latest version of the Nativity story in order to present a more accessible story for a largely, get this, unchurched, unchurched population of youths. They say, quote, while we're grateful that our plans to share the new Christmas story with thousands of children have pricked the, the interest of many, it's a shame that some of the information about our new book, The First Christmas, has been misunderstood. According to Scripture Union of England and Wales, they wrote this in a Facebook post last Sunday. Now, also, Jennifer Babb, church and community fundraising manager, at Scripture Union said the decision to remove the explicit, get this, the explicit scripture, guys, explicit scripture references was aimed at taking, quote, that barrier away. It makes it more of a simple story. That's what they're saying. When we realize that children don't even know the basics of what they are celebrating, then the traditional simple story is the best way, Bab said in the statement. Now, according to also reports, guys, previous versions of the Scripture Union's Christmas book contained Bible references and asked children to explore the Gospels, right? Also, the newly published book does not feature visits of the shepherds or the wise men. Um, so, guys, I mean, they, they're doing everything they can. And look, a large part of this is even in the churches or like these charities, organizations that identify themselves as being Christian organizations. Um, but they want to take the scripture out. They want to take it away from kids. All right. They want to deem the word of God as offensive. They want to deem it as explicit. We don't want to put these explicit scriptures in here. No, 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 no. We can't do that. Let's make it simple because kids don't understand this. They don't know the Bible. You know what? A large part of that is true because a lot of homes, they don't do that. Parents don't teach their kids the word of God. They don't grow up in homes or environments where, you know, they discuss the Lord. And it's really sad to see where uh, where things have gone, guys. I always say if you have kids, make sure you sit them down uh, and make sure you talk to them uh, about, the, about the Word of God and uh, get that ingrained into them uh, so they are not deceived like so many others in this world are right now. It's a real shame to see. But one thing is for sure, we know that Jesus Christ is coming back soon. If you guys don't know Him as your Lord and Savior today, if you would like to, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God today where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for all of eternity. There's no greater decision that you're ever going to make than to give your life to Christ, guys. If you like, I'd also put my email below in the description, cardsfan480 at gmail.com. You can use the email as well to communicate directly with me. If you have any prayer requests, feel free to send those down, guys. It's good for the body of Christ to come together, pray for one another, and lift each other up. All right, guys, I'll continue here to keep you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.